morning. The Indian markets have been stuck in a range for quite some time now. While the breakout is long overdue, no sharp and swift moves are expected in the coming week. The bulls may have to be a little bit more patient as the external situation remains murky. One good thing is that the market has not cracked despite a series of bad global cues. At the same time, this leaves it slightly vulnerable to some correction. The overall bias towards India remains positive if the inflow of overseas capital is any indication. Inflation continues to be the biggest bugger and may continue to cast a shadow on the markets for some time to come. July inflation will be out today and will be closely followed for anticipating the next RBI action. Counters outside the main indices have been buzzing and the trend is likely to continue for a while now. Most technical experts see resistance upwards of 5,500 and support near 5,370. The broad trading range for Rifty remains at 5,300 to 5,600. Shares of SKS Microfinance Limited will list today. Economic data point from key geographies will keep the markets on tenterhooks during the course of the week. Bearing China, most other Asian markets are down with the region's benchmark index dropping to a three-week low. The yen and the dollar strengthened after Japan's economy expanded more slowly than economists estimated. Copper futures rallied. Japan's economy grew at less than a fifth of the pace economists estimated last quarter, pushing it into third place behind the US and China and adding to evidence the global recovery is faltering. Asia excluding Japan remains in a good shape though, while China leading the pack even as the US economy has hit a soft patch. Though Eurozone GDP data comes in ahead of estimates, most of that was propped up by Germany. Also, the region's debt problems are not entirely settled as was shown by lacklustre demand for Italy's government bonds on Friday. So the local strength of the Indian economy will could be continued to be countered by global weakness in the medium term. Lending rates are likely to rise, says Finance Minister Pranab Mukherjee. Foreign exchange reserves went up by 3.17 billion US dollars, the biggest increase in six weeks to reach 287.36 billion US dollars during the week ended 6th August. The Reserve Bank of India indicated that it was not in favor of providing a special dispensation for restructuring loans extended to all airlines. Commerce and Industry Minister is likely to provide additional incentives to sectors such as textiles, leather, handicrafts and carpets on the 23rd of August. Listing plans of life insurance companies may take longer with the delay in raising the foreign direct investment cap to 49% from the present 26%. World Bank and representatives of Union and AP government enter into an agreement for 20 billion rupees loan to part fund the 44 billion rupees modernization initiative of the multi-purpose Nagarjuna Sagar project on the Krishna River. RBI introduces regulations over the amount that can be borrowed by core investment companies operating as holding companies which must now ensure that their outside liability do not exceed 2.5 times their adjusted net worth. Finance Ministry is considering imposing import duty on power equipment for UMPPs, a move that may lead to increase in tariffs of electricity generated from these projects. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on DLF. We recommend traders to buy the stock above levels of rupees 324 with a stop loss to be maintained at rupees 317 for a target price of rupees 340. And a buy on Karnataka Bank. We advise buying the stock in the range of rupees 173 to rupees 176 for a target price of rupees 186 and a stop loss is to be placed at rupees 170. The derivative strategies are Long Hindustan Unilever August future in the range of rupees 267 to rupees 269 for a target price of rupees 277 and a stop loss is replaced at rupees 262 and long Maruti August future in the range of rupees 1242 to rupees 1245 for a target price of rupees 1272 and a stop loss is replaced at rupees 1227. Thank you and have a great day ahead.